Hey guys, it's me, Lewis from Aspiring Gent again, and today we are going to cover a topic that has been long requested, so instead of beating around the bush, we're going to get right to it. And by the end of this video, you're going to be able to taper your own casual pants like a pro. Now, tapering casual pants such as chinos or jeans is going to be a little bit different than your dress pants only because of the common top stitch that you get on the inside of the pant. Sometimes they won't have this and you can just taper them like normal cat, like dress pants. But for you who have it, this is going to be the method for you. Now, if you are tapering dress pants, which I will make another video for in the near future, it's going to be the same method. It's just you're going to be able to take it in on both sides. But nevertheless, let's get started and warm up the iron and start with getting these pants marked and ready to be fitted. Now this is typically how I like my casual pants to fit, pretty tight all the way around the knees and down to the calves, all the way to the ankle. Not too much room. Now, how are we gonna mark it? Well, there's actually two ways I'm going to show you. Now the first method, like most other things, you're just going to have a friend or yourself mark the pants where you want them to be. Grab a pin, throw it in till it feels comfortable. Now, if you are fortunate to have a pair of pants that fits really well, what I like to do is take a pair of pants that I really like the fit, measure them, and transfer those measurements to the new pair of pants. Now, these are the tools that are gonna help you perform this job seamlessly. Pins, super helpful. Roller, gotta have it. Some kind of snips, obviously. Iron, ironing board and some chalk or any kind of marking substance that can be removed. Scissors are necessary if you're taking off a lot of fabric. So once you either have it pinned or marked where you want it to be, we just need to now take apart the hem on the seam that we're going to be taking the pants in on. We have the hem undone on this side. All that's left is to press this seam flat so that these are touching and laid just like that. The seam is now pressed flat. Now you just put your mark from where you know you want to take it in at the finished hemline all the way up to where you're going to taper it. Now you may be asking yourself, Lewis, where do I taper these back in at? Well, if you're taking it in about an inch or less, which is standard, you just take it in from the knee and then you take it down to the hem. But if you need to take in a lot more, you might want to taper it from the old seam up into the mid thigh, then take it down to the hem. That's simple. For casual pants like these, I wouldn't suggest going much higher. Now just take this and sew it right down the seam on your sewing machine. So I have this machine with a white thread. If I was doing this for a client, I would be doing something even closer to this. I would almost find an exact match to this, but to show you guys, it'll be easier to show up on here as well as it's all that I had. So if it's for you or a client, you might want to get a better matching, but white will work for this case. Have the stitch length to about a three straight stitch. That's all you're going to need. Find your mark, get it under the machine, and let's go to town. Now for this stitch, now for this kind of job, I like to go about an inch up from where the starting point for where it starts to taper out is. That way the stitches lock very nicely into, into one another and you don't have any split seams later in the future. Always back tack. Now, if you have a pair of pants that are surged on the edge like this, you could probably just go into the next step of retacking the hem, but because mine started as it being split open, I'm going to return it to that. So I'm gonna to go to the machine, uh, to the ironing board, and I'm gonna take out these stitches, press it open, and then we're gonna come back for the hem. So I should have been filming this whole process, but I didn't, so all I done is open this up, press it open, and then I just refolded this back to its same form and then press it down and we'll take it back to the machine. Now, another thing I did that's a little bit extra but does help you out in a pinch is I saved some of the leg thread and I just wrapped it on this spool here and I put it in the bottom and this is going to allow the hem to match perfectly without me having to run back and go grab some perfectly matching thread. Because it's such a small distance, it shouldn't be a problem. 
But again, it is super extra and might even just be easier to buy the thread. So here we go, just starting a little bit back on that seam there, and we're just gonna sew right across the old stitching, tacking down the hem. And that is the finished product. Let's go try it on and see how it fits. Gander at these bad boys. Now, if they do not fit the way you want to, just take it apart and take it in a little bit more or let it out. Make sure you do not cut the fabric until you know they fit perfectly. But I'm not mad about how these turned out. That's it, guys. Pants are done. You can wear them out and be confident that they looked well, tapered to your body, perfectly fit. But a couple pointers to think about takeaway at the end of this. One being, if you are taking in more than an inch, and that's what we did on these pants, I would highly recommend probably cutting the fabric so it doesn't get too bulky at the hem. Um, once you cut it, you can either use pinking shears, you can serge it or zigzag and cut it. That way it just um, avoids any frayed edges. If you have any questions on how to do any of those things, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have to shorten the pants, do it at the same time because it just makes for easy work and you can hem them and taper them at the same time. But that's it guys, as always, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, tell me any questions you have, any ideas for new videos. I know this one was heavily requested, so I am so happy I was able to make it for you guys. Hopefully it was straightforward, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.